Hi and welcome to Elford Academy. My name is Becky and today we are looking at the emergency stop. Thank you for joining us. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We really do appreciate your support, especially in the early days of this channel. We love you to visit our training zone where you can access all of these training lesson tutorials in sequence. You can sign up to our Drive Test Tips email service so you can get daily emails over a 90 day period and you can find the sign up link on our website. You can check out our blog at learnapot.com code uk with more information articles and reviews on our blog site find us on facebook twitter google plus and instagram and of course please like and share this video and if you'd like to grab yourself a free 52 page learner manual which will help and assist you with your driving lessons be sure to visit the link on the screen some useful tools lots of videos on youtube to help prepare you for your training you can visit our training zone at our website take some notes whilst watching these videos and of course grab yourself a copy of the highway code and of course lots of patience and practice the emergency stop or the controlled stop as it is known is an exercise you will need to learn as part of your driver education program if in the event of a real emergency you will need to know how to react and respond safely to maintain the best control of the car and of course minimising any possible impact and accident. Most accidents happen on urban roads as reported by the ROC Foundation. 61% of all reported accidents in the UK with most deaths occurring on rural roads. 34% of all accidents happen on rural roads with 18% accountable on A roads and a further 16% totalling other types of rural roads. In 2015, all accidents on rural roads accumulated 943 fatalities and 577 fatalities were recorded in urban areas. Motorways are the safest types of roads in the UK, with only 4% of the total amount of accidents and recorded 96 casualties in 2015 as recorded by ROSPA, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. When it comes to learning to drive, it is really important to learn how to control the car in the event of a possible collision and accident. Emergency stop use of ladder. When driving, you should scan the road ahead and all around the vehicle at all times. Using the ladder routine will help you become a more observant driver and will equip you with being able to identify and spot a potential hazard early on. You should look ahead scanning the road for potential hazards. Remember. Hazards can be all around us, so regular checks around the car ensuring efficient observations is a must. You should assess your surroundings and assess the road. You should make a decision. What are you going to do? Are you going to slow down? Are you going to swerve? Or are you going to speed up? And the final part of LADA is ACT. You should act upon your decisions. Types of hazards. When it comes to driving, you should be aware of all types of hazards. Vulnerable road users account to a high proportion of all incidents. You should take particular care when it comes to children, the elderly, the disabled, and motorbikes and cyclists. In Wales, motorbikes make up 0.2% of the traffic, yet account for 41% of all deaths and serious injuries, with 55% of all these accidents happening at junctions. Be sure to look ahead and scan the road for such types of road users. Animals When it comes to performing an emergency stop, you should be careful when it comes to animals. In summertime, animals and roadkill are a common sight on the roads in the UK. It is very important to make sure that you do not sacrifice an animal for the sake of human life. If you do an emergency stop for an animal, this could result in a rear end accident and potentially harm passengers following you. However, there is no hard and fast rule about this. Small animals, birds and rodents should not be your priority. However, the bigger the animal, then of course the bigger the impact. 
Every emergency situation is different. Always drive with due care and attention. And if the moment comes along, you'll be wise to your decisions under pressure. Animals and the law. In the UK, the Road Traffic Act 1988 gives rules on certain types of animals, which include dogs, goats, horses, cattle, donkeys, mules, sheep, and pigs. If you hit one of the above animals, it is a legal requirement to report it to the police. However, it isn't a legal requirement to report to the police if you hit a cat, deer or a fox. It is dependent on the situation. Some people may still report the incident to the police due to the nature of where the animal may be. Deers can account to 74,000 incidents every single year and accidents involving deers are more common in May, June and October, November. However, you should report any incidents if the road or traffic is being blocked. The method. When doing an emergency stop, you should make sure you do the following. Number one, do not check your rear view mirror. You do not have time. Number two, you should maintain a firm grip on the steering wheel at all times. Number three, you should react quickly from the gas pedal to the brake pedal. Number four, you should use the progressive braking technique. Number five, you should put the clutch down just before you stop. Number six, you should secure the car once you have stopped the car. Number seven, you should prepare the car to move off using the POM method. Number eight, you should make sure you thoroughly check your surroundings, including both of your blind spots. Skidding. The risk of the car skidding is heightened in wet weather conditions, humid temperatures and where the road may have had some spillages such as oil, grease and fuel. If your car does not have ABS fitted or the ABS system fails and you find that your car starts to skid, be sure to follow this advice. Number one, steer into the skid. Two, if your back end skids to the left, make sure you steer the wheel to the left. Number three, if your back end skids to the right, make sure you steer to the right. Number four, Keep a firm grip on the wheel until you have gained control of the car. Number five, if your wheels lock, you should apply the Kinder's braking technique. You should come off the brake and reapply the pressure. This allows the brake pads to reattach themselves in this eventuality. The driving exam. When it comes to your driving test, it is really important to know how to perform an emergency stop and to react safely. Some common errors include Number one, not reacting to the examiner's instruction quick enough. Number two, checking your rear view mirror prior to braking. Number three, stamping the brake pedal and causing the car to skid. Number four, not maintaining a firm grip on the steering wheel. Number five, not securing the car. Number six, not checking your blind spots prior to moving off. For more driving test tips, please visit our video training series, Partial Driving Test First Time. This video series explains the driving test sheet, the marking criteria, and comes with over 30 videos to explain the subjects included on the driving exam. And please remember, like, share, comment, and tell all of your friends about these video training series. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our training zone at trainingzone.lpodacademy.co.uk. You can sign up to our driving test tips at our website, and check out our blog at learnapod.co.uk. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. And remember, again, please share and leave feedback below in the comments section below this video. If you are looking to take an intensive driving course, please visit our website for more details. Until next time, take care.